What's up folks? My name is Janessa. I'm the co-founder and co-CEO of Simply Eloped and you are here for your tip of the week. How can I incorporate my fur babies into my ceremony? So I've got six tips and I'll be counting them down. I do have a blog post that is connected with this post. I get a little more granular in the blog post, just talking about like states that you can actually incorporate this, spots you can actually incorporate these tips, um, and then a whole lot of visual inspiration because you just can't get enough of animals dressed up for weddings. Come on. So here we go, kick them off. Number six, have your fur baby walk you down the aisle. Much as a father walks his daughter down the aisle, your fur baby can be the person that hands you off to your beloved. I definitely recommend for this tip, dressing your fur baby up uh, for your ceremony. So we'll include in the blog post places you can purchase tuxedos, dresses, veils if you'd like to go that far. Put your dog on a leash, put your cat in a backpack, hold your small dog and have them walk you down the aisle to your beloved. Number five, ring bear or flower animal. So the ring bear is pretty straightforward. You just take a ribbon, tie the ring or rings onto the back of your cat or dog or goat, pull them off the back. Uh, for the flower animal, obviously your animal does not have opposable thumbs, so will not be spreading petals on your aisle, um, but you can tie a bucket to its back at a particular angle so that they kind of fall off the wayside, the petals um, off your animal as they're walking, or you can just dress your animal in flowers. You can put a crown on, a wreath around their neck, a garland that trails behind them. So those are all options for ring bearer or flower animal. Number four, can I get a witness? Yes, you can. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, your fur baby can be your witness. In the state of Idaho, we had a couple uh, that did have an official witness, which was their photographer as required by the law, but their secondary witness and third dairy witness was their fur babies. Um, so they got an ink pad and took the paws, put them on the ink pad, and then stamped the wedding license with the paws and actually submitted that to the state. Number three, include your animals in the adventure at large. So we have a lot of elopement destinations where you can hike in, it's way more remote, you can drive into a remote spot. Including them in the adventure as a whole can be a really, really fun way to include your animals. Number two, include in the first dance. Oh, be still my heart. Yes, your dog can temporarily be on its hind legs while you hold the two front legs and dance with him or her. For the smaller animals, you can put them between the two of you and have them part, be a part of your first dance, or you can just have them dance around you while the two of you have your first dance. But the first dance ones are so sweet and some of my favorites. Number one, and this may come as a shock or two, there are some states in which your fur baby can be your officiant. That's right, folks, your fur baby can marry you. This is only possible in states that you can self-solemnize like Colorado, Illinois, Kansas, but your fur baby can definitely lead your ceremony. Just be aware he or she might not have much to say. So perhaps prepare some vows to exchange, uh, but it's a super fun way to incorporate your fur baby. Uh, don't forget to get tons of photos. Those are definitely gonna be memories that you cherish. And then like I said, Click the blog above for some additional inspiration and then some very specific information on places and states where you can actually incorporate some of these tips. Uh, our tip next week is just a really basic question, but one that we get all the time. When do I start planning my elopement? At what stage uh, should I contact a service or a business and really get things started on my planning? Feel free to leave in the comments down below if you have any questions that we haven't answered yet. All right, see you next week.